Welcome back to the channel and our kitchen. Today we're in our kitchen, which we don't usually show because it's kind of nasty and not that exciting. This is a, an original, but I mean painted over kitchen from the 1970s. It's really outdated. It needs work. You can see our big old outdated refrigerator running behind us that is always running. Yeah. Probably just hogging up our electric bill. Pretty much. We're going to be gutting this kitchen and totally renovating it. Not all today, but we're going to try to get it started. We have to gut the kitchen because we're doing a big home makeover, home renovation. We've uncovered a lot of problems. There's problems with rodent damage. There's problems with heat loss. Uh, and there's problems with the plumbing. We have to address that all, so we've decided to hurry up and get this started before winter comes. Yeah. Before we can get rid of our kitchen, we have to have a place to cook. Today, all our goal is is to get a kitchen set up in the living room. We're gonna be building a temp kitchen. It's gonna be really cool. The first thing we needed was a refrigerator. We didn't wanna drag that big, dirty, old beast into our living room, so we got this. This is part of our new kitchen setup. We're gonna unbox our new fridge. We got a table, we got some boxes down here. We're gonna show you what those are. It's gonna be really cool. So let's get this started. This is our new refrigerator and I know it looks small, but this is like exactly what we wanted. And this isn't just a temporary fridge. This is gonna be our permanent fridge for even after our kitchen is done. And that's why we picked this one out. We had one the same exact size. At our last property and we liked it. So here it is, Magic Chef. $36 a year to run. It's pretty cool. There it is. I really like the small fridge. This is 10 cubic feet and it's actually big enough for our family. We don't buy like... Massive amounts of... Yeah, refrigerated foods, yeah. so. The next step of our kitchen is a work surface and we found this at the store. This wasn't actually very expensive and the reason we picked this is because it's really cool. This is just a workbench that we picked up at Home Depot. And what's neat about it is, first of all, it rolls around on wheels, which is awesome. We wanted stuff to be as movable as possible so that if we want to do the drywall, we can just roll it out of the way. And um, the other cool thing is that it raises and lowers. So like that, we could raise this up to 36 inch countertop height. And look how cool this is. We can work, we can cook right here. We can roll it out of the way to clean and vacuum. And the really cool part about this is that when we're done with this kitchen, we're trying to be really smart about how we spend the money here. When we're done with this kitchen in here, we can roll this, we can lower the table back down low to a desk height, and we can roll it over there into the desk nook and use it as a computer desk. Yeah, so, dual purpose. Super long-term use, it's gonna be really cool. Um, I like it. Let's check this out. We picked up this burner off Amazon. We haven't used it. We don't know anything about it. We just hope it works good. So we can't recommend it, but we'll put a link to it in our description if you guys want to check it out. It's basically an infrared um, cooktop. We picked up a new toaster because we didn't have one. We've been actually toasting our bread in our toaster oven, but the toaster oven is kind of clunky and messy for making toast. So we're hoping this will work better to keep the room clean. And we'll probably run one of these appliances with the fridge. Those will be fine, but we won't run them together. We might have to move one of these to another location just so they're on different breakers. All right, guys, it's the next morning. Our fridge has been plugged in all night. I got all the food transferred over from the big fridge to the small fridge. That feels so much better. Now we need food storage in here. So I'm going to be putting together some wire shelving. Okay. 
Well, there it is, one shelf done. We got these shelves with wheels. That was really important to us to keep everything mobile since this is a temporary setup kitchen. We gotta be able to move stuff as we need it. We might have to rearrange things while we're working. All right, I got two shelves set up. That's gonna be for all of our pots, pans, dishes, and food storage in here. It's gonna be really cool. These also came with feet, but I really like the idea of being able to roll them around for now. Again, we tried planning ahead when we bought these shelves and we sized them so that we could use them. In our future pantry, we're gonna do a utility room slash pantry area. And these shelves should fit in there properly if I can frame it out right. And then we'll be able to make use of them after we're done with this temporary setup. We have shelves for the pantry that we can use. We got a fridge that we can use in our new kitchen. Um, we got a table that we're gonna repurpose as a desk. It's gonna be all multifunctional, so I think we made some good purchases. Now I gotta make some room over here and I'm clearing out some tools because I'm gonna try to get the dryer out of the laundry area and put it in here. All right, we got our dryer out of the laundry room. There's one less thing to work around. The washing machine has to stay because we need it. We're still doing laundry. We don't have a way to hook it up anywhere else. So it's gonna stay. You wanna turn it this way? Well guys, here it is. We're all set up, so let's take a quick tour. We have our food and dishes set up over here. We brought our Berkey in here, and I happen to have this filing cabinet that we brought with us when we moved. If you watch some of our old videos, you'll see this between our two computer desks, rarely. And we're using this for cooking utensils and spices and all different kinds of stuff. We got some onions and stuff down there. So that came in really handy. Um, we got our cook's top set up, toaster, fridge, all the food in there is doing good, table, and that's all there is to it. I think we actually like the new setup better in the living room than in the kitchen where it originally was. Yeah. This kitchen has been so dysfunctional for us. We've always hated this triangle, and I know you're supposed to have a workflow triangle in the kitchen, but the way that our stove and our fridge and our sink is opposite of each other, we're always running into each other. And we hate these corners in the kitchen where you just can't do anything. And the cabinets are gross. Yeah, pretty dirty. We only really used that side, not so much this side. So everything is cleaned out of here. There's no more food, there's no more dishes, except for what's in the sink from lunch. The fridge is shut off. I turned the breaker off to the power. We're ready to start gutting this kitchen. This is the last time, almost the last time. You'll see it one more time in the next video when we gut it, but this is essentially the last time we'll be seeing this kitchen. Yep. Tomorrow we're going to start gutting. Yep. So since we're going to be gutting the kitchen, you're probably wondering where we're going to wash the dishes and all that. We're going to be doing that in our bathroom. The sinks or the tub, just somewhere in there. Yeah, we've done that before, washing dishes in the tub. It's not fun, but it, it works. And if that becomes too much of a hassle, we could always invest in like a laundry tub that we can hook up outside you know, a temporary sink, but for now that's our plan. It's like we do that in every house. Yeah. So I guess that's all we have for today. We got our new kitchen set up and it's looking pretty awesome. It's actually light and bright and open in here and it just feels good. So we're happy to be in here. Maverick's room is still empty, so we could actually still work on finishing his room if we wanted to, all except for that closet that we need to pass through. Right. But we could get working on that. I'm sure we're gonna have our hands full with the kitchen as it is though. It's coming together. So next time, hopefully we're gutting the kitchen. That's gonna be exciting. Can't wait to see what is behind those walls. But that's all we have for now. So until next time, take care. Bye.